Hello everyone, Mario the Smash Bros here. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we completed various purple coin missions and of course we have not completed all of them yet because we have one in the uh, Ghost of the Galaxy right there. We have 111 out of the 120 stars that we can obtain via these comets. So of course we have various comets to do now. Nine of them. Do you think we can pack them all into this one episode? If we can, this is probably going to be the last episode of Super Mario Galaxy to actually be collecting stars and whatnot. But if not, then it will be split into yet another part. Purple coins in the bone pen is this name of the level. This is a rather difficult level I found. Now, once again, this is another level where there is time. And there are more than 100 there. So don't think that you need to collect them all. Just collect as many as you possibly can. It's a very quick level if you can do it right. And it takes forever if you don't do it right. Oh, jeez. Minute on the clock. It's real quick. I don't really think the health is necessary. Oops. Oh. Halfway in, and we're at 40 seconds as well, so that's pretty good for time. Okay, which areas have we not yet explored? Over here, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is not good. 91 to go. Uh, let's go up here. Four to go. Four to go. Not one more, one more, one more. And we got 10 seconds, or 12 seconds, basically, to get that star. Get that star, get that star. The time is still moving, the time's still going. Take your time, take your time, get that star. Take your time. Do, do not rush to get that last star. If you have already, like, got it and you don't have much time to go, just take it slowly because if you keep on bumping on the meat because you're stressing out over getting it, you'll probably end up dead. That is usually how I end up dead most attempts. Yeah. Purple coins on the puzzle cube in Gusty Garden Galaxy next. We have been to the puzzle cube before, but we were not catching purple coins. We were catching a single rabbit. This time we have various purple coins to collect on here. I believe this is another level that has more than a hundred you can collect. But once again, time! Two minutes 30 on the clock. I think we can do this. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Their coins are going to be in awkward spots every now and then, but that's okay. We don't need to worry about that. Like, most of the ones in awkward spots can probably be avoided, to be honest. You can just go for the ones that go for the ones that are in the main areas, and you should be fine. Like, we're already a quarter in. Which is good. Whoa. Looks like these areas are absolutely flooded with coins. Which they are. Which they are. I say don't go for the awkward ones, and I proceed to walk along the big hedgy maze thing to try and collect as many of them here as possible. I think I may have intentionally or unintentionally uh, left all of the timed ones, or the majority of the timed ones, or the more difficult ones, to the second uh, purple coin episode, which I think is probably a good thing, because the longer videos, they're basically the levels where you need to walk about and explore to find exactly 100 purple coins. These ones you just wander about and collect as many as possible until you've maxed out. Now, it's going to be important here that we don't get lost towards the end of it, because as soon as the star appears, if we're far away from it and we have not much time left, then what are we going to do? What on earth are we going to do apart from just sprint? Ace to... Oh, we got AC to 20 to go. We need to go find some more. Maybe on this surface. Have we haven't been here yet, have we? Oh, we have. Uh, this one? Perfect. We're good here. I think we should be fine. I really hope we should be fine here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, 32 seconds, back to the star. Oh, it's just there, perfect. Awesome. Grab it. Yahoo! 
along with the next three Slim Galaxy Purple Coins on the Summit. I would be inclined to collect coins from the bottom all the way up to the top and go from there. Because we can probably collect the last couple of them as soon as we jump off the summit, which should be fine. Oh, poor Toad. Why did you come here thinking you could snorkel, though? Uh, I looked in the water, but uh, there were no purple coins. Can't remove snorkel. No, there are no purple coins in the water, so don't bother searching anywhere near there. And that's good. That's good. It's good that there aren't any purple coins in the water, because it basically just means, what about on the land? I scared of it, and you should be fine. This is a fairly linear area, I suppose. Like, if you go that way, you're basically taken up to the summit, and there's a big trail of purple coins that leads you to the top. If you follow this way, then once again, there is a big trail of coins that will lead you to the top, so... Yeah, I'm a rebel, and I'm going up here just to collect that single coin. I'll come back for that later. Because we can live, we can live, we can live. There we are, we lived. Cool. And up to the top we go. I'll need to get that first. Oh, really? Come on. That's a surprisingly difficult coin to grab. Same with that one, and oh, this one? Seriously? Oh, wait, hold up. The strategy is as soon as I'm up here, I just backflip like I would normally. No, I'm not bothering touching those coins. I don't need them. Oops. Long jumping while ice skating is a bit of a good strategy as well, just because you can long jump further when you ice skate. So yes, use that. Linear progression, linear progression. Uh, no, I sort of failed it. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I can't get up there. Well, I can't get up there unless I do the triple jump. I can't backflip off the wall and then jump up there. Not normally, at least. Surprised I didn't miss that one. How I love the peaceful music on Free Slime Galaxy, the icy version when you're collecting coins. Oh, the mu music can get a little intense. I just want it to be peaceful. Oh, I needed that. Whatever. We just made it. Yeah, we just made it in time. All the way up to the summit, we're gonna, well not the summit, but the peak, I suppose. Summit's way further up. Oh, there's a toad, there's a toad. I wanna go say hi to the toad. Let's go say hi to the toad. So I'm very curious as to what the toad has to say. Because what on earth are you doing on this part of the mountain? Frozen peak, ah, how nice. That's it? So you're not freezing to death higher up on the mountain, but that toad, oh, uh, well, I mean, the toad down on the bottom did fall into the water and get the snorkel stuck to his face, so I guess that would explain it a bit, but I don't know what he's doing out there. He's barely wearing anything, and he looks fine. How oh, strange. Looks like that would be all of the coins on the peak. I don't really know a quicker way down apart from just long jumping off the edge. Damn, we really made it back down. Alright, we're gonna need to go back up. Hold up. The pathway that you have to triple jump to get to is the one that takes you to the very top. So this is the one that, yeah, just takes you up, yeah, to the start here. I was just remembering that because I was thinking, wait, hold up, if this leads you, if the one that I just took leads you up here, then like, 
the other one's got to be the one that takes you to the peak. Or the summit. Keep mixing up peak and summit. We've got 71 now, and hopefully the remaining 29 should be on our way up or on our way back down from the top. One, two, three. Don't miss that one. Do not miss that one in just dashing and trying to speed on this level. Pretty sure you probably can't long jump that, so I'm not going to bother trying. There may be purple coins hidden in them. I'm not too sure if there are. Oh, there probably won't be. But hey, in case there are, just grab the power up. Oh, that was very slow. Yeah, I'm so not going to be able to get up there with the power up. Oh, come on. I was one away. I completely missed. I thought I might be able to hit with the fireball there, but no. Of course not. Boulder? No. Guess boulders don't spawn on this level. Whoa. Was not going to die there. Absolutely not. Not having any of that. I think the most frustrating deaths are dying any time after you've collected like 60 or 70 coins. The worst ones are like when you die at 90 something plus. Duh. Yep. I'm starting to feel like I may have missed some important ones, but at the same time, I think I'm okay. So I think because I made it to the top and I have like... I don't quite have 90 yet. Oh, I think I get it. Wait, hold up. Land. Sticks the landing. Stick the landing again. Please tell me that this sling star right here is going to give me basic, just a free 10. There's, there are two. There are two. Time to find the hidden eight. Where could they be hiding? Oh, there they are. Up there. That was way less difficult than I thought it was going to be. Well, Up. Whoosh. Oh. Ha ha ha. Three to go. Now, where are these last three hiding? They're going to be hiding a little group, probably. Little group. One, two, three. Awesome. Yes, didn't have that stupid issue where I am missing one or two and can't find where I have missed them. Very happy with that one. Let's get our reward. <laughs> our next purple comet is Purple Coins of the Woods on Gold Leaf Galaxy. And if Gold Leaf Galaxy is anything like Honey Hive Galaxy, this is going to be an absolute nightmare for me. If not, oh yes, it's linear progression. Hell yeah, that is awesome. Oh no, it's got the music playing. It's timed, isn't it? Yep, it's timed. That's even better, actually. Because, like, sometimes I forget, wait, which one is going to be timed, which one is going to be open world and hidden. And just because Gold Leaf is a fairly similar galaxy to Honey Hive Galaxy, you think, yep, they're going to be scattered around all over the place. But they're really not. Um, and Dreadnought Galaxy is very similar to uh, Battle Rock Galaxy, but that doesn't mean that Gold Leaf Galaxy is going to be that similar to Honey Hive Galaxy, even though I feel like it's it's more or less a complete replica of the thing. It's like mirrored or something. This is almost mirrored. I haven't actually taken a look at Gold Leaf in comparison to Honey Hive Galaxy. But I'm sure that if you compared the two, there would be pretty ridiculous similarities between the two if you ended up mirroring one or flipping one of them. There was totally some copy-paste somewhere in there. There's no denying. Halfway there. Is he here to cheer me on? Got 50? Okay, well, that's good. Reassurance is helpful. So if you come, come there and you have 49, that is, well, pretty much the time to start panicking. 
up. This way you go, left or right, let's go right. And then we'll probably miss a few. Yep, because the last three down here. Okay, out of order, but that's okay. We can probably like backflip up there, wall jump, jump. No. no I'm, I'm determined to do this. Hey. Yeah, yeah, we're timed, but it's 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 the time to show off our insane platforming skills. Don't miss that one. And you can get back for this still. Whoa, that was close. No, 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 no. I actually think it's so helpful having the bees telling you that you should have a certain number of them before you continue. Just to stop you from getting around to the end or like, I can't believe I missed one. It would have been so much more helpful if the game said, hey, you missed one earlier on. Or you missed the first one, you come around to the end, it's like, 99, huh? How? You should have 90 probably. Yep, you got 90 and the last 10 should be here. G-G-E-Z, the last 10 over here, where are the last 5, let's go grab them. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. How easy was that? I love me some linear progression, boing! <laughs> I managed to triple jump, what? Our next level, purple coins in the desert in Dusty Dune Galaxy. Now what music is playing? It's the peaceful music. So this one shouldn't be too bad. We are pretty much given this entire big open area to explore, which is great. They don't give us a huge amount of area to explore. There are two sides for as well. I almost fell on the quicksand there. That would have been a tragic start. And I do like that they give you this area to explore both sides without just saying, Hey, look, there are going to be some coins all over the galaxy. Uh, have fun finding them. Oh, great. One. One. I got one. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. But we need two of them here now. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, the twisters. Come on. I need you. I need you to throw me that way. At them. Excellent. No, I don't need you now. Don't need you yet. Actually, I think I do. Yeah, I actually do. Never mind. Oh, my life-saving twister. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not getting crushed today. I'm actually, like, all over the place, these little coins. coins over here. How sad. No, oh, I needed you. Come back here. Oh, interesting coin placement. Very interesting coin placement. We should fall down to that one, and there we are. Safe and sound. I get a feeling we might have missed some. I'm just gonna have a look around. Thanks, camera, for being there when I need you the most. I think we're good. Let's just jump into this hole and, well, make our way onto the other side of the galaxy. There. I need this one as well. Come on, come here. How do I get it? <laughs> it's a really awkward spot. There we go. Cool. This should be the only reason I could actually pick that one up was because I saw where the shadow was. There are a lot of star coins. In the uh, in the sky in this area. Yeah. 
No, I need the I need the coins beneath you. Not helpful, not helpful. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, we're gonna fly across. One, two. Oh, we we're, we're almost there. Almost there. Try again. Go, 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 go. Nice. So you're mining cement or brick. Let me give you a tip. There are no purple coins in the sand. Why, thank you. I wasn't going to go and search there, but thank you for the reminder. Sleeping on the job. The warm wind feels nice. Oh, sleepy toad. Up. No, 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 I, oh no. I swear I shook the remote. I gotta, ah. You don't even need to fall and shake the remote. You literally just need to jump and then you'll get them. It's not that difficult, but I made it a bit more difficult for myself. Can we fly into the hole? No, nope. Oh, long jump, whoosh. Right, our last 25 coins should hopefully be somewhere nearby. Whoa, don't want to get whacked by those spinny things. These guys are 100% going to knock me into the sand if I let them. Whoa. Oh, I've got to let them eat me. Nom nom. Twister. Jeez, I've got to be careful here. Playing it pretty safe though, so we should be fine. That was not successful. One. So yes, got it. Now, are there any over here? No. Doesn't look like it. Hey, our last two, last ten, gonna be over here. Oh, right. So there are a few here, and we've got to get all the way back there to collect our last five. Then, gotta make a run for it. Oh, seriously? I decided it would be better to prioritize getting hit and getting past rather than getting one-shotted, but... Oh, we managed to make it in. Okay, I think that means we're safe. Because you can just fly right over the top and not get spiked. Oh, yes, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, wait. Dry bones. Okay, dry bones should be okay. We can fly past using these dudes if I need to. I think I might use them just in case. Oh, no, 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 no. No! No, no, no. We're one off. Okay, well, that's stupid. Hold up. Jeez. Okay, well, I'm really glad that I've got that final coin. If I had died at, like, the 99, I swear, I the, the, the things I would do to this console right now. We have our star. It is over at last. Yo, yo, we back in the engine room, going to Sea Slide Galaxy, collecting purple coins by the seaside. There are a lot of coins, to say the least. Yes. This galaxy is like 100% going to be one of those, there are only 100 coins in this mission galaxies, so... Guess we gotta collect every single coin in sight, and they're scattered everywhere, which is not friendly. At all. Let's take our time with it, collect all the coins we happen to see near us, and we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. I'm sure.
We are a tenth of the way there, woohoo! <laughs> I swear, I get so impatient when I'm in galaxies like this just because of how many coins there are and how overwhelming it seems. And it's like, I just want to collect all of them. And when they're in clusters of three like this, I'm just so aware of how long it has to take. There's no way to speed run it. There's no way to do it quickly or shortcut or anything. Like, there are coins all the way over there going all the way around. But... I think we have our strategy of we're basically going to make our way all the way around. Sea Slide Galaxy is basically just a big aquatic cycle, basically. So if we follow that and collect all the coins along our pathway, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. As long as we don't miss any. Better not. Turning around to make sure I haven't missed anything behind me. Very glad that I have not. And yes, of course, it's great in all being able to collect the coins that are in the sky, but there are a bunch of coins on the ground around me, and we'll get to those in just a moment. allow me to collect the ones that are also in the sky and on the top of this tower thing. Get the feeling there might be a coin up here. Oh, I was wrong. Rip. It's fine. I believe that's that. Oh, of course they're down here. It's a strange spot for them. Oh. I guess I can get them like that. Up, up. Cool. Now, I don't think any of them are in the water, so I'm going to need to grab the B-suit again and make my way back through the level, basically. Yep, cool. Forty-nine out of a hundred does not seem like a satisfying number. That makes me think I might have missed something. But... That yeah, doesn't look like it. We should be fine. Hi, hello there, Toad. There are no purple coins in the ocean. I... I already knew that. Why do you think there would be so many clouds, so many bee suits? and so much emphasis on the sky. Maybe because I could hide one of them in the ocean and then force people to go and look in the ocean and find that one really stupid hidden coin. Uh, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me at all if people did that. Doesn't look like there are any purple coins on that island in the middle. That's good, that's good, because there would probably be no way to actually get there. There might be, there might be. Thank you, Toad, thank you, Toad. I don't know how on earth Toad managed to collect those coins. Let's just accept them. Happy with them. I'm happy with them.
It's hard to believe we have nearly made our way through the entire island, but geez. Well, no way. Oh, that was, I, I thought I fell off the edge there. I actually thought I fell off the edge there. I was going to be so annoyed with myself. Oh, I'm so relieved. Okay, we need the bee suit back. Bee suit back. Be more cautious next time. Oh, 11. 11 more. We have 11 coins to go. I'm not going to fail at 11 coins. Still have a couple more in that big tree to collect, so let's go grab those. I don't know where I saw them in. Are they at the top of the tree or on the side of the tree? Am I able to fly up the tree? No, obviously not. Go onto that branch there. That works. Hey. Make it up here. Now if we collect this one, can we see eight of them that way? Can I count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cool. We're good. We are set. I can see all the final eights. I'm a happy little bumblebee. That hasn't really been talking too much in this episode, or just in this galaxy. I mean, this galaxy doesn't really require a whole lot of commentary. I mean, I could commentate clouds all day. No, I really could. not That's a lie. I could not commentate clouds all day. But I'm sure that there is another magical human that probably could. Oh well, didn't really feel the need for too much commentary. Oh, that's why I thought there was something at the top of the flagpole. Great, that's where the star is. Okay. Let us fly to it. The star is in our hands. Multi Molten Galaxy, red, hot, purple coins. We have made our way to the final three galaxies in the game where we can actually collect coins. This one shouldn't be too tough. We've basically got this small area to collect all the coins in. So, it should be okay. Yes. Multi Molten Galaxy, Dreadnought Galaxy, and the Deep Dark Galaxy are the final ones you have to go at. This one will probably be a bit more exciting, I hope. The dramatic music here makes it so more intense, I love it. Ooh, that was close, almost got burned there. I'm glad that the lava in this game isn't an insta-kill, like the sand. The sand is an insta-kill, but actual lava, that's not. Whoa. Oopsies. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Should have probably used the invincibility frames there to collect those other coins, but I guess we're ready here now. Ooh. Yeah, there's some pretty interesting coins to collect here. Don't sink, don't get lavered. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we can get some coins from this dude. This dude, where is he? I can't see him. Oh, I managed to get him. But, he went back in the lava. Come here, come here, come here. I promise I won't do anything to you. Healing. Healing off the souls of our dead enemies. Whoa! I did that thing twice, I didn't know that. Uh, we missed some coins back here. Yeah, I saw that we missed some back here. And there was one up here, and there was some of the island over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoa, let's sink quickly. Oh, 
Aha. Now, I need to make sure I haven't missed any up here as well. Can I stop focusing up there? Yeah, there are coins right in front of me and I can't see them because Mario is too busy focusing on the star that will allow him to progress further into the level. Look at all of these coins I could have missed. There are a lot of coins here that I could have missed. 90. Okay, so our last 10 will be, well, hidden somewhere. Back up we go. Jump. There we go. Please tell me they're going to be like in the volcano or something. Last seven in the volcano, yeah? Uh, maybe. Let's have a look. Two to go. Hmm. Oh. One at the start. Two at the start. Perfect. Uh, that's why I missed them because they were over the lava. One. And... Wrong colored coin, but I'll take it. Extra healing. Stop hiding. There we are. There it is. The shiny. Collect the shiny. Second last galaxy, the deep dark galaxy, we're going to be plundering for these purple coins. I'm oh yes, yes, of course. So all the coins are gonna be hidden on, underneath, or around this ship in here. Which is good. Because it basically means that there shouldn't well be ah oh, booze. Why do you do this to me? There's a boo in a crate somewhere. I knew that there was a boo in a crate somewhere, but of course, it's busy hiding. Hello. Ah, a ghost. Yes, I know. I revealed the ghost. I didn't mean to. I'm just seeing if there are any purple coins in the boxes, and there aren't any. Are there? Okay, I'll get the ones on the land first, then we'll go for the ones on the ship, and then we'll go and take a look in the water. I should probably try to do this a little bit quicker, just because we probably don't have a whole lot of time. No, there are no coins hidden in the dirt. And if I take too long with this, it is going to be a ridiculously long episode. I'm sure it probably already is ridiculously long, considering I try to pack everything into this one video. But, oh well, I'm committed. I'm committed to it, so that's what we're doing. Look at there. See a few over there as well. Maybe we'll get those later on as well. Yeah, because we can just swim around and collect those. Apart from that one. That one I'll probably end up forgetting about. Wrong thing. I thought I was jumping onto the ship, which I'm not. I just have to talk to the- hi there. <laughs> I just had to talk to the toad that was pirouetting. I, I don't know why, I just needed to. There's just something in me that said, talk to that toad. Are there going to be a lot more coins in the water than I thought there were? I think so. Yeah, because by the look of it... Okay, now how on earth do I get... Okay, I got that one. What about this one? Do I have to crouch and then, like, jump off that or something, or what? I've got no idea how I get that one. I'll jump from underneath and we'll see how we go from that. Hello. Hi. Let's get those purple coins out there. Break out the long jump. I know, I know. What else is I going to do to get them? It's this one underneath here. I don't know how to get it. Ah, oh, right. Are right, we at 56? We'll go long jump to that one, and then we're going to explore the waters. I better not miss this. 
Yeah, if we miss that one, I guess that would be the last one that we're coming back to. Because we're already in the waters now. I think we should swim around. Yay, we could just swim around. Swim around, pressing the A button, collecting every single one around the outside. Then we'll go underwater and then just grab the... the hopefully, the last maybe 30 to 40... My arm's killed. Should be all under the water. Hi. You can't get me here, I hope. Ah, no. If I jump at you, then you can, though. Use this strategy to pick them all up. This one, this one, this one. I see, I see that I missed one. Whoa, there really are a lot down here. Toad over there that probably doesn't have much to say to me apart from blub blub blub. I got this level one's toad snorkel toad certification. I can't see because I'm busy breathing. <laughs> air, air, air. Hmm. Oh, right. I forgot about the ridiculous number of coins that they hide around the edges of the ship as well. as well, or between the cannons at least. How do I get up to that one? Jump. Cool. Oh, lag. Game is lagging a bit. I think we have all of... Ah, oh, of course. There's, there's one over there. Okay, let's ignore that one. There are probably going to be some literally right underneath the ship as well. Let's look from here. I can literally see nothing. There probably aren't going to be any coins down here, are there? I mean, I can have a look. Oh, there are. They barricaded all off. So you can't go any further. But if you actually remember that this is part of it, that is actually a really sneaky thing to do. Because you can see how many coins they just chucked in here because they could. Thinking that most people would probably end up missing them and go, I'm at this many coins, where are the last ones? Wow, gee, I wa one wonder. Where's the last one? Is it like underneath the big jellyfish thing? Nope. Where's the last one? No. Oh, there it is. What a sneaky level. Only one star now away from pretty much complete game, well, game completion, basically. Which is like semi-mind-boggling at this point, considering that we are like 25-ish episodes in. But I guess when it comes to games, I try to complete them as quick as possible, make progress, and if it's a game that I played before, then I kind of know what I'm doing, and I won't take absolutely forever to do it. If we head up here, hopefully the comet should be there already. Perfect. The final purple comet that is in orbit, the final star we're going to be collecting, is the purple comet mission in Dreadnought Galaxy. Probably the most difficult purple comet mission in the game. Battle Stations Purple Coins on Dreadnought Galaxy. If you remember what the Battle Rock Galaxy's Purple Coin mission was like, then you'll probably know exactly what's coming here. This is the Battle Station. If we miss the coin, I'm going to die. 
on purpose. I'm not getting around to the end of it and getting killed by a robot. There's no point in that. Don't jump too much. Don't do stupid things. Uh, my help. There could be some helpful maneuvers that I might be able to do. Like backflipping every now and then. Free life just in case I end up needing it. Which I probably will. It's the trippy gravity that gets me every time. And I definitely really wish that in this galaxy they had more than a hundred coins, but nah. They, they want to make it so that if you miss a single one, you know exactly what went wrong and how to fix it and that, well, you, you messed up. There might be some up here. Yep, knew it. Very triumphant sounding music though, which is awesome. If you can do it right. <laughs> there we are. Trying to be real careful when I'm moving around because I don't know which buttons actually... No, 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 no! Oh, really? I didn't mean to jump there! Oh, and me, right now. Please. No point continuing. No point continuing. There we are, more or less back to where we were before. And we are doing things okay. I, I realized that me just jumping off the edge being like, there's no point, sounds like super emo. So this is basically emo Mario back here. But th this time there is point. There is point. Because if you do collect all the coins, then in the end you won't die. I should rename, rename this episode to Mario Finds Purpose. <laughs> Jump. Jump. I think these are the last ones. No. Have I missed something? Oh, okay, I get it. It tries to play prank on you by going, hey, hey, 99 coins, and it gives you the last one there, and that is sneaky. Makes you think that you've come around to the very end of the level and failed. Well, in this case, you haven't. And, to be honest, if you do end up with 99 coins at the very end, and then you go, oh, I've failed, just take the star, just go. You'll get even a coin, and you'll be fine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 120 stars galaxy complete. Not saving yet. We now have enough star power to go to another world. But before that, we must help your special one. Okay, so I've pretty much just cut back to here. We have now a zero on the floor. We have completed every single galaxy and have 120 stars. If you do fly to the center of the universe, you'll be put back to the final boss, which you've already completed, so there's not a whole lot of point in that. So I think that's pretty much all you can really do. Right? Well, I would like to say so, but unfortunately I'm going to have to say wrong. I'm going to explain what you have to do in order to unlock a final kind of secret galaxy, though, before we actually go and sort of show that off. Now, I have a second file that I completed ages ago, like, so I can go and just muck around random galaxies and whatnot just to show things off. Toad, shut up. Let's go this way. As soon as you beat every single galaxy in the game, both on this profile and an alternate profile you can switch to once you unlock the game, switch to Luigi, reset the game, I've already explained that. As soon as you beat Fate of the Universe a second time, you unlock a cool new galaxy, which I'm going to show off now. Alrighty, so I have now loaded in my second profile, you can see up there, I have 121 stars already, yes. I I picked up a, another one mysterious star, so you complete all of the various galaxies here, and that one there, and something else reveals itself to you. Now, I, probably, I won't go into too much detail as to what exactly happens when you restart the game as Luigi, because it's basically just restarting the game from the very beginning, but you'll see Luigi in the cutscenes instead of Mario, it's not, it's not all that new and exciting and interesting. If you are playing as Luigi, he is very slidey, as you can see, but has much higher jumps. 
He has very, very high jumps. So it's interesting to uh, play the game as Luigi in comparison to Mario. Anyway, there is another galaxy if you go into the Trialy Island sort of thing here. Go into the very center. And another little green loom will reveal itself to you and ask you if you want to go to the grand finale galaxy. And of course, we say yes. Ready, got it? But today we're heading to the Star Festival. If you thought you were done with the purple coin missions, you're wrong. We're back where we began once more. So you're put back on this area as Luigi this time. You can't really access this area as Mario unless you've Unless you switch back onto your Mario profile. Actually, I don't even think you can. I don't actually think you can access this character, this um, level as Mario. I, I'll, I'll check it out just to see if you can and put a little annotation on the screen to see if you can or not. But that's just what I think at the moment. So this is our second time, I think, visiting, uh, actually properly visiting this level. We're basically seeing every single one of the characters that we've passed, but everyone's happy. Well, most people are happy. If I go back a little bit, I want to see who's actually here and who's not. We have toads, we have penguins, we have robots. Oh, we have Grandpa Penguin. Hello! Oh, it's you. How have you been? This here is one amazing festival. The kids are having a blast. So, you having fun? Absolutely. Of course we are. Jumpy, jumpy toads. I'm not going to go around and talk to pretty much every single one of them because this episode is long enough as it is. We're going to walk through all the way to the end and basically conclude our journey. Concluding our journey with Super Mario Galaxy, or in this case, Super Luigi Galaxy, because we're not playing as Mario anymore. Mr. Luigi! You gotta hear this. We did such a good job, they're promoting us to Royal Guards. With me as the Royal Guard Commander, nobody will ever kidnap Princess Peach again. Ever. Goopers, booze, giant, overgrown moles, whatever. Bring it on. He's so proud of himself, I'm so happy for him. Happy little toad. Oh, we can take damage here, can't we? Can we? Can we? We can! Hey, first time you can die in the Star Festival. Don't do not do that. It, it ruins the mood. It really does. Literally the only hidden um, coin over here. <laughs> Grab it. Oh, the bunnies here cheering us on and whatnot. One, two, three. It's probably going to end up mucking with the mood and changing the music a little bit if we do happen to grab this last coin. So I think, at this point... Oh, do we have any coins we can collect? It's annoying being on, like, two health. They probably don't put any coins in here just because they assume you're not going to take damage. Oh well. I think it's now time to truly conclude the series. And I've pretty much talked as much as I possibly can about Mario Galaxy. Well, hold up. I got one coin. I must have picked up a coin from somewhere. I wonder. But I've said basically everything that I can regarding Mario Galaxy. I went on a huge tangent about pretty much everything when we were doing the credits, and all of that still stands true. I would totally replay this game, only not by myself recording it, but maybe if a friend hadn't played it before or something, I'd totally play it with them. I still love this game. Luigi is not falling asleep on us at this point. And I think that if you own a Wii or you own the game, you should probably play it too. It's great fun. Super Mario Galaxy 2, would I play it too? I've already played through Super Mario Galaxy 2, I'm not going to play it on the channel, it will just get kind of boring and repetitive, and Mario Galaxy 1 is the one that has a special place in my heart, and also, in Mario Galaxy 2, you have like double the number of these stars to collect in order to complete the game, and that is like insane, that is ludicrous for a single playthrough, I wouldn't be able to collect that many of them, it would go on for so much longer. Anyway... We're at the end of a series, and what happens at the end of a series? Well, we conclude, but with every conclusion, there is always a new beginning. On my channel, I'm going to be playing a couple more new games. I know exactly what those games are going to be. I'm not going to say anything about them. I'm just going to upload and see how things go. But if there are any games you would like me to play, whether it be a Mario-related game, a Nintendo-related game, any other PC, console game, anything that's probably not specific to Xbox or PlayStation, because I don't have those with me at the moment. I don't own an Xbox and I'm not the one in my household that owns the PlayStation, but PC games, 
Wii games, Wii U games, 3DS, DS. Actually, probably not 3DS because I don't have a capture card for that, but if there are any games you want me to play, let me know in the comments down below and why. And I'll see if I can maybe check out some more games. I am always keen to try out new games because that's what being a gamer on YouTube or being a gamer in general is all about. It's not just about sticking to like your one game or two. It's about trying out new things and actually being part of that gaming community. And that's that's what I hope to grow here on YouTube. A relatively small gaming community with people like myself where we can just come together, play games, talk about them and just enjoy them. Anyway, I think that's pretty much all I can say at this point, so let's grab our final coin and finish everything up. Yep, I know it's silver, but whatever. Luigi, there's a congratulations letter here for you. Do you want it? Of course I want it. Let's see, what's it like? What's in it? I sent a letter to the Wii message board, so look out for it. Are you serious? Of course you did, of course you would. Okay, I might just post a screenshot of what that letter looks like just on screen at the moment so you can actually see that. That's pretty much exactly what that letter will read for you. And it's a really nice letter, actually, that they send you. Anyway, uh, it would be so much nicer if this star was golden, but we're here. We're going to collect the star now. Let's do it. We arrive back at the Comets Observatory for the very last time, completing the Star Festival, of course. Toad, shut up during outros. This is the point where we end things off. There's nothing more to say here. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, I would love to know why. I'd love to know what things I could improve on when it comes to recording games and uploading games to make myself a better content creator and also to make myself a better gamer because it's so much cooler when other people tell you, hey, you should try this in a game. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's like revolutionary when it comes to games. That's what we do here. Share other advice with other people. It's great. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you've been following along all the way through this series, that is awesome, and it's been great to have you along. You know who you are. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.